Serious Sam HD Extended Edition. More like Serious <laughs> Sam HD Extend This Dick. Shouldn't. Because it's suck a dick. We're almost there. We're almost there. The end is in sight. I wonder what the Knum boss at the end of this is going to be like. Is this a, uh, use nothing but the minigun level? I think it's going to be a use nothing other than the minigun type of level. Literally crickets right now. I I am in a fight right now with an enemy, which means I am not hearing any fight music. Are you tired? Take a nap. <laughs> I am tired, Sam. Please put fight music in your level. It can't be the same crickets throughout the entirety of the map. Sam sounds like he's inside. It sounds like that echoey sound effect that gets added to a... Uh, Whenever you're inside a building, that like kind of echoey. Yeah, where's the uh, spawns at? Yeah, so it's exactly the same fight as vanilla, but they're type two. They are type two headless instead of type one headless. These aren't uh, type 2 kamikazes, at least. It's the little things you gotta be thankful for. There's no, there's no music. An entire map that's not gonna feature any music. This shit is supposed to be like for the secret when you come around. But it's already giving me hearts. Super armor and uh, super health. Oh, there's the music. About time you chimed in. Oh, 
by the way, it's a, it's a fucking hundred players or something. God, it's like Okay, or you know, bullets could just it, stop existing in midair. some serious glow going down. Look at this item place. That's not gonna be annoying. Having a bunch of glowing be right in my face as I'm trying to shoot. All the dudes that are gonna be spawning. I swear to fucking god. Sometimes. Sam, shut the fuck up. Uh, half, like, sometimes the game will just decide to not actually have my bullets here. They, they will just evaporate in midair. I wish I could imagine a reason. Yep, here we go. Now I can't see any of the enemies.
somebody breathing. Uh, I guess I don't. I actually need to pull out, do I? Biomech mod. This is not, there's no secret here in uh, vanilla. Yeah. It must have been a long time since I played vanilla if I'm getting it confused with the enhanced today. What? You guys are already running at the door? I haven't even shown up. Is there any reason to go into these side areas? Yeah, there's buttons you gotta press. Three more to go.
Wow, I got him from that far away. Another major responded. Why are the spawn timers so slow on the biomech majors? I just made it that the door stayed open after I hit the switch.
pretty sure this shit happened in the middle of the bottom. There's a clear horde that's up. The next fight's a clear horde. Oh shit, wait a minute. Damn it. Uh, I guess the last map wasn't too bad. And I mean, Legend of the Beast is already a, just painful to play through. But I got a bunch of cannonballs. It's like, Legend of the Beast is boring as hell, and now it's boring as hell but with more monsters. Emma, hey, it could have been, I don't know, the pharaoh of the time. You know, those pharaohs got big egos about themselves.
pipe too, Comico. Why not just go all out and make them the clans? Yeah. We have the exact same thought. done with this. I can't see shit because the fucking glow on the pickups. Just blind fire into the... Couldn't he have just given him the same, like, glow, like, the same highlight effect that, uh, Serious Sam 3 has? Did it really? R. Jesse, thanks for the follow, man. Like, the Serious Sam 3 highlight is so much less intrusive than literally blinding you from the enemies.
you were not always there. No, I do not prefer this over the vanilla Legend of the Beast. Jesus fucking Christ. He has not, he did not improve one mission. Every mission he's added stuff to, he has not improved any of them. Maybe you could argue, uh, the first level, Legend of the Beast, was improved. Walk my ass all the way back here. I wonder if I'm ever going to get to use my, uh, serious bomb. Alright. Let's see. Round two of this clusterfuck. What's the uh, gimmick gonna be this time? It's gonna be 50 million kamikazes are gonna come off the edge here instead of however many usually came out.
God in heaven. This shit's just rancid. Pickups are blinding me. I d okay, there's just a shit ton of Kamikazes there for some reason. More biomex spawning in. Yeah, you guys just. Well, actually, not really anybody's not doing anything right now. I hope uh, using the serious bomb will allow me to uh, instantly kill the boss. Probably not, but here's open.
If only there weren't items in the middle of the arena. Just make a look at it shit. That might be good. There's a secret to, you know, when you come down here and you go over there. Oh, damn it. I have to go check it out just to see if he actually changed anything. I'm gonna reload it if he didn't change anything. I'm gonna probably reload it even if he did change things. Because I, I don't want to deal with whatever he did. Okay, so you do this, and it's like, oh, look. Secret second round found. Yeah, so, what do we got? We got the Highlander. spawns now. Just a fucking shit ton of clears. No kidding. And the spawns are going closer and closer. Dudes are... Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, but what about power-ups? Is it the queen? Is it is it her majesty herself? It does seem to be. Yeah, 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 can and who cares? Oh, is it five billion more clears? Cool. What in the fuck is going on over there? And their fucking like spawns broken. They all like huddle together. Pathing their AI, they're scripting. Bravo. Utter clusterfuck of these clear golems. That's all right. Cool, 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 cool. God, absolutely no fucking thought was put into this fucking absolute fire dog shit. Why did I one shot the other one? I can't one shot the other. am I playing right now? Is this Thana's insanity? Thana's insanity is more fucking endearing than this fucking dog shit. Look at this utter fucking retarded dog shit. Absolutely no thought fucking retard made this fucking... What utter fucking trash. Here, how about I fucking walk back? Fucking bravo, you fucking retarded cocksucker. Fucking stay gone, Soleus. Nobody would want you fucking back. Yeah, they're gonna fucking climb the wall.
I can't believe that's a thing that I just played. The Bright Island is better than this. The Bright Island is better than Serious Sam Extended. This is, I think, the shittiest fucking mod I've ever played through. Oh, fuck, really? We still got shit to do? They all have to be the uh, super arachnoids. Adult arachnoids. Oh my god, they fucking re take their place. somewhere. This shit is absolutely unfucking believable. Yeah, there are. There's an arachnoid somewhere. Sniper, not gonna do anything for me since this is the end of uh, end of part one. But maybe this. Mi there we go. Maybe this little drone can help me fight the uh, the boss. Oh, better get that lore. <laughs> this area that makes the uh, lava golem sounds, even though the lava golems are in it. Let's see if it's the same boss fight or if it's gonna be different. Am I just playing this again? Hey, will this work? Get him! 
No, if it don't work. Well, I... If those fireballs would, uh, you know, actually explode. Makes things slightly trickier. it was only three hits. Nope, it seems to be exactly the same. Except I think he might actually be slightly stronger. Because yeah, usually I think it would just take three goes, but now it's gonna take four. Continued. To be continued sadly right now. Where am I? Fucking could have fucking. The Valley of the Sphinxes, which as you can see has a shit ton of sphinxes uh, put alongside the road. Cause don't you think it was weird that the Valley of the Sphinx had no sphinxes present? So now let's just put a shit ton of them. So you're saying, well, this is another episode. This is a new episode and I don't have the chainsaw. And you're like, oh, so, you know, now it's more like a, a normal uh, vanilla playthrough of Serious Sam, right? Oh, oh, my friend. Chainsaw man. Not only do people love that chainsaw, people also love the uh, minigun sentry. The minigun drone. <laughs> now, this truly is the definitive version of the first encounter. If you're looking at it. Just to attack the drone first. But 
Don't get hit by the fucking biomech. Fucking turn. This thing's an idiot. This thing's good as dead. You gotta hit those projectiles here. Do all the work for me. Or it'd be like Charlie from Serious Sam 4. Oh god, look at those clears. He does a really he does a really good job of distracting the players. Oh no, the arachnoid is gonna kill it. Don't worry, I'll save you. It's still got yellow hope. After all this, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, it's not like the drone. There's the gr the drone gadget in Serious Sam 4. But the drone gadget actually does a, uh... Oh my god! Is this yet another idea that Soleus had that got implemented into Serious Sam 4? ideas that's actually the reason to look at that, that the actual reason to play serious sam extended is to see the origin of uh, a lot of the uh, serious sam 4 crap very true I would tell any developer to not do that. Oh man, I have one less health. I don't want to grab that. Secret tree at. 
Did he remove the secret? What the hell? Why would he do that? I guess you're the boss. We're removing secrets and all that. Look at the size of that thing. Don't get by the rockets. Oh, it's dead. My drone is no one. What the fuck? The last of you. Canums are now just regular enemies. Okay. Not terrible. I oh. His legs also one he's not disappearing. And two, his legs have like a gigantic hitbox on him. His feet. Weird. Let's see if, uh, Serious Sam Revolution Secret is in this. I, oh my god. Just de-rendered the flames. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh well. The canums are okay. I'm not against that change to adding canums into the maps, because canums are good enemies. Oh, 
why you have a pen. I guess I should not be hiding in a corner. believe you. Maybe it is done. Just that clear spawner is on such a long delay. I have to watch this pointless cutscene in order for uh, Sam to say his one-liner. Because if you skip the cutscene, he skips the one-liner. It's weird. What are you waiting for? A one-liner? There you go. So gimped. Get so much health from. I mean, the cannons the weapon to use because we're in the second half of a uh, the first encounter, you know. Which means, uh, just spam cannon all the time. <laughs> what is with the eyes on these Egyptian dudes? It's fucking weird. 
<laughs> it's the reason why they don't give you a cannon so early in literally any of the other Serious Sam games. If it was really like Doom Eternal, it would be a uh, sniper rifle and quick swap to super shotgun and then swap to minigun. And then just pretty much do that ad nauseum. using so many uh, blue mechs and red mechs. Why isn't Solaius using his uh, medium tier biomechs anymore? I'm pretty sure I've seen people use uh, minigun for chip damage in Doom Eternal. Bits. Oh no, I guess maybe I could be wrong. Get off of that roof. Oh fuck, I started to run over. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure I've seen videos in which they would use the, uh, Goss rifle and the super shotgun for, like, you know, huge burst damage back-to-back. -back. And then it will seem like whatever they're fighting is, like, so weak they can just finish it off with a minigun damage.
Good god, it's that late already? Golem time. Which one? Okay. Ah! Uh, this- he didn't destroy the- he's supposed to destroy those two columns by swatting, but those swats did literally nothing. Yeah, I fired too prematurely. He can't get hurt until the boss health bar actually shows up. Looking forward to seeing Kanum <laughs> in uh, the first encounter from this point forward. Don't disappoint me. Forget about uh, the secret. Oh my god, what? Wow, okay. This is different. I was walking towards a door, but now I've gotten off a boat. Yeah, this looks cool. But this is from the uh, Serious Sam Alpha. This is a remake of a uh, Alpha level that got cut. Where did I get, dude? Look at what I have. First encounter, everybody. It just gave me that. That was just in my inventory. I didn't, I didn't, there was no snipe rifle pickup. I just have it now. I didn't even know I had whatever that is. I just plugged in. If you're gonna have the sniper rifle be in first encounter, at least, you know, put it in an area or something. <laughs> you know, have like an actual fight attached to it or something? I don't know. I'm just going like, well, you have the sniper rifle now, by the way. Saying 
No, I do have it already. Eh? What is the point of all this? It's just like, you know, when people talk about, man, uh, especially when it comes to the first encounter, when people go like, man, it takes so long, I wish there was a sprint button in, you know, Serious Sam Classic. Uh, it's usually just because, you know, Crow Team makes some areas that are, you know, pretty big, so you have to walk across it. Uh, but this is literally like, I've made this giant ass area in order to, like, waste your time. Hey, <laughs> you think you guys are at all scary? I have the power of the snipe rifle. You guys are nothing to me now. Literally nothing. Oh, I get it, Aaron. I was saying, where did these guys go, but they're still here. Yeah, riding a wearable would be nice. Hell, I could ride uh, one of these Biomex. Certainly, I can get to the other side from this direction, right? Oh, dear God. I think things are worse than I previously thought. Now that's a lot of walking. I have to go down here, activate this, and then what? Unless there's a way to get across, which I hope to God, what am I looking at right now? What is this? Okay. Oh, 
that's a good idea. Alright, after I kill these kamikazes, I'll check the lore for sure. design on this thing one of the newest genetic genetical genetical is that even a word monstrosity of an invention of mental the arachnocod was most likely created on some boring afternoon when mental thought that fish with legs sounds amazing the creature was based on a cousin of the Reban electrofish originating out of the deepest oceans of planet Reeb. The species was not only able to generate light to see in the dark, but also large electric mines, powerful explosives that travel relatively slow, and now can crawl on land. Yeah, that is... Yeah. That's some second encounter lore right there. Like, one day Mental was watching some horror movies and thought it was cool to make a pumpkin man. Thanks, Protein. spawn on me. Oh, thank God. We got a lot of those. It's like, you don't even have to be close to the enemies, you can kill them all before they even get close to you. Oh my god, that backpack just- that backpack just gave me 100 sniper rifle. Get out of here. This ship is actually a uh, secretly death trap. Yeah, I, I found the secret. I can't get out of here. <laughs> Get 
Check me out. Oh, thank God. But yeah, man, this shit's over, man. 100 snipe rifle. Look at that bridge. There it is. I would have preferred the bridge to be made down here, but... I guess I'll take it. But that's true, Harnack does have the best lighting in TFE. I don't know, it's probably because uh, the Kar Karnak was the demo level. So, like, the most went into uh, Karnak's visuals. Which is why uh, Crow Team thinks it's important to show off the Ankh pool when you get to the Ankh pool. How's it going? Alright, where we go? It's like, it doesn't matter who spawns. I have so much sniper ammo that I can just use the sniper rifle on everybody. Boxes on these guys. Nice, dude. Nice. No, I don't have VR, so I don't have the ability to check out the VR. Yeah, I have a friend of mine, uh, there's a friend of mine who has a uh, VR helmet, and he says that all the games that just have you teleport around suck. That's like most of VR games from what I see. Fish enemies. Oh, look, wearables. Get up. Get that shit out of my face. No, I think it's just one of those things where, uh, I mean, VR was so new at the time. Subscribe? What the hell? Uh, thanks for the subscription, but I don't 
even know how that shit works. I did get an emote for that, so thank you. But I really do not know how anything on Twitch actually works. years before I get a hundred dollars. But it's still nice. <laughs> yeah, sub only chat. Yo, fuck everybody who does that stuff. Dude. I, there's no way I'm walking all the way over there to just grab a few items. Subscriber only chat? Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop all these ladies. Good one. <laughs> yeah, at five hundred dollars I play a Barbie game. I guess in my case, Jimmy, it would be uh play Doom Eternal, huh? much would you drop on this stream if, uh, Doom Eternal- No, 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 no. Wait, are we talking shit about Doom Eternal? <laughs> I am not a fan of Doom Eternal. Yeah, this is a safe space. This is a safe space for, uh, shitting on Doom Eternal. Oh my god! What the fuck? Yo, nice enemy spawns. You have just a shit ton of dudes in your face as soon as uh, the cutscene ends. about the time uh, uh, Doom Guy was a uh, skater. I mean, that actually did happen. 
all memes aside. But no, yeah, the fucking storyline in Doom Eternal is just fucking pathetic. Anyone who thinks what they're doing with the story is at all any goal, I don't understand. What the fuck? Yo. Ah, oh, man, bitch. Oh my god, dude. Why is I'm I, I can't fucking hit this lady? Whatever. Yeah, no, that's everything about that fucking game. Constantly dash and go around in a circle because every single fight in that game is Made to be like a circular arena So you just keep going around in a fucking loop over and over and over and over again dashing around and Just constantly just switching between like two weapons Yeah. Hold on. It truly is Zoom Eternal. Wait, hey, look at that. It's a Kanam. Sorry, Kanam. I have 60. I have 60 cannon ammo, so you're not scary. Oh, that was the... okay. Now we're back at normal, Karnak. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, when people like to say retarded shit, like, Doom never took itself... Like, Doom was never... Doom never had, like, a serious atmosphere, as in it was always just, you know, it, it was never serious, it was always cartoony and crap like that. Even though id Software has talked about how, uh, uh, when they were creating the demons in Doom, they wanted to make them clay models in the first place because that would make them look more realistic. That's, like, the best you could do back in 1993. And, uh, yeah, and all of the tech bases and whatnot in Doom have that, like, disgusting, like, you know, it, it looks dirty. So they were trying to have this more, like, realistic approach to Doom. And after there was Doom 1 and Doom 2, and then there was Doom 64, which, I mean, say what you will about Doom 64 as a game... It still, it took that idea and went further with it, making it more, like, horror with its visuals and everything. And then, you know, fast forward a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, Doom 3. Also in Doom 3, when they came back to reboot it, it still followed that, like, oh, it's supposed to be, like, dark and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, Doom 3 was still connected with the original Doom in that idea, even though the gameplay of Doom 3 sucked. Fast forward to now Doom Eternal, uh, people are like, Doom was never serious, Doom was always a meme game. It was a fucking meme game from the very beginning. It never took itself seriously, it was silly cartoons, and uh, yeah. No, it's really pathetic. Doom 4, I didn't mind Doom 4, because Doom 4's story wasn't completely retarded. There he is. There's the big boy. 
Yeah, I just took that. Because yeah, Doom 4, it took what it did, like, with a straight face. Doom guy in that game, some dude just, he just wakes up and it's just like, oh, there's a bunch of demons running amok on Mars and blah blah blah, and then Doom's like, okay, I'll solve that issue. And he just fights the demons that are on Mars and then blah blah blah. That's literally, like, the plot isn't deep, the plot, there's nothing crazy about it. It's pretty straightforward. And then you get to Doom Eternal, and then Doom Eternal completely just fucking shits the bed with its mess of a uh, story. <laughs> Lord of Cringe Sauce. Nice, dude. Alright, yeah, you have a good day. You have a good night, man. Thanks for stopping by. Jeez, yeah, now the fire giants show up. I just one shot at that dude. What the hell? How am I one shotting these dudes? Back to the uh, type two beheaded. Like the Justice League, uh, fucking, I don't know what that thing is called in Justice League, but they have like that satellite fucking thing in Justice League where they like, they all, you know, like monitor like crime and whatever the fuck is going on. That's literally what they made for Doom Guy and Doom Eternal. Stupid cock sucking game. Yep, more of this fucking garbage. Yeah, it's not like Doom had, uh, you know, episodes that had semi thematical uh, themes. Like episode one. Tech base, episode two, hellified tech base, episode three, hell. You didn't need warp gates for that. I mean, yeah, you didn't need a hub.
some bullshit happen, I'm pretty sure some bullshit happened. Yep. Yeah, well, the, yeah, the, the biggest problem with Arcane Dimensions is, uh, there's no, like, there's no progression, or no progression you'd be able to tell, because the maps are wildly inconsistent in, uh, size and difficulty. So just playing a bunch of levels that are completely random in that regard is just stupid. Fucking type two. Nothing but type two beheaded. What a great fucking idea. Oh yeah, but the Doom World Mega World, the Doom World Mega Lot project. Uh, at least when you're playing on the Z-Doom source ports, it would say, like, difficulty under the maps. It'd be like, this one is, like, easy difficulty, this one's medium difficulty, this one's, like, high difficulty. Arcane Dimensions did not do any such thing. not the same in the demo. As they are in the demo, I mean. Oh, there's this guy. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, the last level was completely new, which was surprising to me. But other than the fact that he bumped all of the fucking, uh... Yeah. All of the beheaded to be fucking type 2 beheaded. This is pretty much the same damn level. Thought I could get them both. That mutilation of the Nar is so good in this. <laughs> you mean the, uh, the Sirius Am 4 Reptiloids that have the uh, ult attack? You already know that. If you've played past, like, the third map, you already know that. It's a hard plus attack. 
You're such a fucking stupid little cocksucker. The fucking fucking biggest idiot. Jesus Christ, everything you do is fucking retarded. That'd be a boss fight. <laughs> and it'd be a, a Reptiloid Highlander variant that throws cannonballs at you. Oh my god, look at that fucking bullshittery. I hate the fact that you can't burn the fucking fire giants until they fully form. It's the stupid physics, you know? It, like, had a speed boost because it, like, got flung off of this geometry. shotting like sometimes I don't one shot a fire golem, which I'm not supposed to, but a lot of the times I'm one shotting these days. And I don't understand. Fucking golly jeez. If I was playing Serious Sam Fusion, my problems would not exist. Also, if I was playing Serious Sam Fusion, bullets would actually clip through corpses. It's weird. Straight up bullshit, man. It's some bullshit. It reminds me of the uh, fucking Quake 2 expansion packs that would do the exact same crap. 
they would introduce like a higher tier version of a already established Quake 2 enemy, and then by the end of the expansion pack, it would be only those new versions and none of the originals. What, what the fuck was that? Oh, see, this little fucking ledge, so the gnar just pops up. Let's see you do it, yep. Don't forget to get, uh, go to turbocharge. Why would you make details like that, full well knowing that, uh, the serious Sam physics sucks? God, look at that. Okay. Serious and boxes. Shitty mod for this shitty game. How can you think, how can you have the opinion that this game is better than the second half when fucking maps like this exist?
Who turned out the lights? Oh god, yeah, they're gonna be fucking type 2 friends. Soleus really ought to be embarrassed that you're fucking made trash like this. Ah, you fucking little cocksucker. I'm so glad, at least the one fucking good thing about all this is that there's no Great Pyramid. Again, it was never great in the first place. Magnificent spawns in this game. Oh, walk it door to door. And then just a bunch of fucking shit is now spawned on top of me. Future fucking game. No talent. No talent. Because the first encounter is just a bunch of fucking, uh, Serious Sam Alpha maps. And Crow Team didn't know how to actually design fights. So a large portion of first encounter is just dudes spawning on top of the player. It's pathetically lazy, and it's completely amateur. The Ankpo is just a highlight of uh, the first encounter's failings. <laughs> you think for a second that I'm gonna do any of these fights? I'm not doing a single fucking fight.
If only this was a good fucking version of the game, but Serious Sam HD fucking blows dick. And Serious Sam, I would play Serious Sam Classic any day over HD. Jesus Christ. Why the fuck is there a firecracker there? Oh my god, of course I just took damage. I just took damage from falling in the water. Serious Sam did not get good until 2007. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I fucked up. Hey, I'm back here. Like, look at this room and tell me that the first encounter is not a fucking trash fucking bin. Okay, so I'm saying there's a adult arachnoid and another adult arachnoid and a fucking kamikaze. First encounter, not a good game. The first good game they made was the second encounter. The second encounter and Serious Sam 3 are the only good games the Pro Team has in their entire life. People talking shit about uh, BFE, but like cool. there is no, you know, oh look, there's these little guys. There's just a bunch of them. There is no universe in which uh, the first encounter is a legitimately good game. Sorry, but I, the only thing I can say is that the nostalgia goggles on people are, are so tight on their head. Oh my god, did I not fucking hit this, that shit in this life? I have to swim back in. 
I don't agree with that, but it's like, I don't agree that episode 1 is the peak of classic Doom, but at least episode 1 of Doom doesn't have like some objectively terrible level design. Aren't I supposed to get the minigun? assholes real quick and then grab all the shit. <laughs> it deletes gameplay. Puts, uh... Chainsaw... Chainsaw, serious bomb, and sniper rifle into the person gun. Look how high up in the sky they are. What are they doing up there? <laughs> Turbo mode activate. where he spawns. He just spawns up there. That's in the vanilla game. Here's, uh, this thing that they, you know, want to show off. They're like, look at the technology that the Sirius engine has, and then they never used it in any level. Here, I th that's what I heard it was called.
awesome end credits song and BFE being replaced by the fucking meme music. Oh, here's more. <clears throat> more sudden spawns. Look at that meme. It was a uh, decoy, decoy health. Oh yeah, let's see. Health box mimic. The mimic is unmanned, AI controlled drone. Its special, its specialty, however, is that it is made out of a highly malleable metal alloy making the drone able to mimic small to medium-sized objects. Variation description. This type seemingly have adapted the health box hologram I display on your HUD to fool you in, fool you that it is a large medical pack. Okay, okay. So, questions about that is, uh, so the lore is Natrissa makes the health pickups look the way that they do but at the same time this thing is mimicking how Natrissa makes the health pickups look so it, there, there, there's already weird shit already in that lore but then how come Natrissa doesn't Natrissa doesn't just warn Sam or whatever and going, oh, that's not something I'm, I'm not projecting that. I'm not, that's not my doing. That's not a true health pickup. And Sam can go, oh, it's a decoy. That's some of the dumbest lore. I mean, it's a fucking meme enemy anyways. Why is some dumbass lore? Oh my god, it's frog time! Yeah. You may not like it, but this is what peak Serious Sam gameplay looks like.
gotta ask, is it truly, is it truly intended that I have no other rapid fire weapon than the Tommy gun? I have no minigun and I have no laser gun. Like, really? have a laser gun nor a uh, mini gun, but I can have 60 cannons. They, I guess they thought them having the minigun would be too OP at this part, but Let's once again, we still have 60 60 cannon. Nice, I one shot at both of those guys. start showing up and it's just cannon cannon until it's done At the end of this fight, they fucking spawn two arachnoids on top because the first encounter is a perfect game. Cannon the clears? I mean, I don't know, probably, but I don't really want to cannon the clears. Oh, the arachnoids? Yeah, sure, I'll do that. I mean, it's just gonna be unnecessary hit scan damage. Thank you, 
ladies. Is that it? Huh? Oh boy. Nah, but it's Serious Sam 3 that has the hit scanner player of Problem. Let me uh, re say that. <laughs> has been enabled. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that the secret health has been enabled. It's also really fun to just hit these guys with the, uh, with the grenade launcher. Corpses in my face, man. This is indeed the same crap I've played many times. shortage on ammo for said cannon. So some canums aren't really gonna add too much. Thank you. 
Alright, I mean, I keep saying that, but it's true that the Kanums are not going to do anything unless they're more plentiful. Because as has been established, a nonsensical amount of cannon ammo and no shortage of it. That was just literally Karnak, but just slightly more annoying. Slightly. the whole cutscene. That is indeed the beginning of the next map. Okay. Only two missions left. Only two. Two missions and this nightmare is over. <laughs> Playing this mod. I mean, I'm not gonna play, I'm, I'm exiting now. But playing this mod has been my biggest uh, serious Sam regret. Like, the Bright Island. The Bright Island was interesting because it was like so absurd. Like, the Bright Island was absurd, and you, I, I wanted to see, I, I did want to see what was, what would happen next. It was interesting. The, it was not good, it was not very fun, but it was interesting, and I wanted to see what was coming next. This mod, dear oh dear, this mod. It's I don't know what 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 can I say? It's just it's just bad. It's just not good. <laughs> All right, but the next time I stream, it's done. It's over, and we're moving on with our lives. Uh, I'm gonna do something that's actually fun. What I I have to do something genuinely good after. I'm done streaming this. So after I'm done streaming this, it has to be something genuinely like good quality. If I stream Doom, what, go back to Urania? Should I go back to playing Urania or something else? Like, is there another Doom wad? Oh yeah, but uh, Kako words should happen soon. So once the Kako words, Bloody Steel. I mean, maybe I might, I could maybe play Bloody Steel with a supercharge, but I'll also like to see when, what the CAC awards come out. When, when do the CAC awards happen? That's not for like 10 days, is it? After the 10th, damn. Well, that stinks. So yeah, I will have to uh, just 
just figure out what to do. Oh, shit. Oh, well. All right, dude. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for keeping me company as I play through Extended. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm taking the day off. Yeah, see you next time, man.